I've been trying to complete this drawing on Procreate, but it's just not turning out the way I want it to turn out. So I am attempting to try it traditionally and see what that will look like. And that's just a quick time lapse of me trying to get this done. Speed it up a little bit. So yeah, that is the time lapse. All right, so while you watch me color my line art, I think I will have this line art available for you guys to color. I will leave it somewhere in the description and all you have to do is just download it. I use cardstock paper, the paper I showed you guys from the beginning. So you're free to color it and practice or whatever. I am thinking about creating an adult coloring book. So definitely give me some critiques or tips on how I can improve my line art. So I would like to share a time. It's not funny. I don't know why I'm laughing. I want to tell you guys about a time that I found out that a random company was stealing my artwork. So this was back in 2019. Um, this was a period in time when I was extremely active online. I was consistently creating content and just uploading everything without a care in the world. I wasn't even putting watermark on my artwork and sometimes I would even upload the full file. Like I wouldn't reduce the quality or anything. I would just upload the original art and just post it online for anybody to look at because I just never thought something like this would happen to me. And yeah, this was the incident that made me start using watermarks and also downgrading the quality of the post I share with you guys online. But occasionally, sometimes I find myself um, making the same oversight. So maybe I haven't fully absorbed this lesson from this experience. So picture me, I'm super happy. I just uploaded a piece on Instagram that I just completed and people were liking and commenting. And yeah, I was just having the best day of my life and I'm like, oh, let me respond to my messages. They're kind of stacking up. So while scrolling through my messages, I saw a message from one of my followers, big shout out to you, whoever you are. I'm literally so grateful, so thank you. And if you're still watching, hey girl, this video's for you. Shout out to you. Even though your message literally had me shitting and throwing up, I'm still grateful for you. Because of you, I'm a little bit smarter now about the way I upload my artwork, even though I do occasionally um, act dumb. But for the most part, I'm kind of smart when I'm uploading my artworks. And that was because of you. So thank you. So yeah, this person sent me a message saying, hey, is this your artwork? I think this company is selling your art. And they left me a link and they attached some screenshots of my artwork. And as soon as I looked at the images that were sent to me, my mind literally just went blank. I just got this sinking feeling in my gut that just like engulfed me. My heart was like thumping in my ear. I'm pretty sure I went into shock. I don't, I don't know if that's what shock feels like, but I was feeling something. And that was also when I discovered that I am super attached to my artwork. The way I was uploading it, like I did not care. Or I, maybe I just trusted people too much, but I didn't think I was that attached to my artwork until I saw somebody else using my artwork without my permission. That was That upset me so much. I clicked on the link and it led me straight to a page featuring my artwork on various merchandise. T-shirts, mugs, prints, everything. My jaw was literally on the floor as I was flipping through these images, looking at the sites and seeing my cute little characters, little headshot on a t-shirt that I did not approve of. And it wasn't just one artwork they stole. They stole, I think, about three images, the headshot, and I remember one of the pieces being a commission piece that another company had asked me to draw for them and paid me for. And I was just like, what the heck? Like, what is happening? I just never thought something like that would ever happen to me, which is why I didn't care. Now I understand why some people are so protective of their artwork and they hardly post some of their favorite pieces. I literally have a friend that, well, not really a friend, somebody I went to school with. She does not upload her artwork. She kind of uploads sketches and leaves it at that. Her final pieces are kept somewhere else, not online. Now I understand her fear because 
I'd always bug this girl like, hey, you are so good, please just upload it. And she's like, no, I don't want to share it. Like, I mean, one of her reasons was because she doesn't want her art to be for profit or whatever, but I understand where she was coming from. The part that made me feel so frustrated was how powerless I was. I remember sending them emails threatening to sue them if they didn't remove my artwork. But the whole time, I was a broke college student, so I didn't have any money to sue anybody. I still don't have money to sue anyone, so if you want to steal my artwork, this is your- Let me stop. Nope. Nope. Don't, don't you dare. But yeah, all I could do was send them emails with empty threats hoping they would just comply to my demands and, you know. So yeah, the lack of control over my artwork, something that I spent hours creating, being used like that, it left me feeling so frustrated. And for weeks on, I just felt so awful. I kept revisiting the page, repeatedly checking throughout my day, desperately hoping to see my artwork removed, but every time it would still be there. I continued spamming them with emails, just clinging on to the hope that they would eventually just comply. But that went on for maybe three weeks where I was just constantly emailing them every day. Like as when, whenever I got the chance to email them, I would, I would just spam them. Hopefully it wasn't going to their spam. But yeah, I was flooding their inbox. And I didn't have any other way to reach out to these people. It was literally just an email and that was it. No phone numbers no like address or anything but yeah it was a shady website it just looked like like i wouldn't trust that website i wouldn't put my bank information on that website it did it look it looked like aliexpress but like a lower quality aliexpress so you know it's it's that bad and i don't want to mention their name because i don't want to get sued i'm still broke and I also can't recall the name. I, I think my mind just repressed this whole incident. But yeah, I kept visiting their websites and of course emailing them. And one day when I hacked on their website, my artwork had just magically disappeared from their website. Yay! So yeah, I was so happy to not see my artwork on these people's website and they actually never emailed me back. They just removed all of my artworks and left me to my own thoughts, I guess. So I was just standing there like, oh, so y'all were getting my emails. It's been a few weeks. You could have at least apologized, you know? I totally forgot to mention that they also had other creators' artworks on their website, so it wasn't just me. And that was so disheartening to see that they kept those other people's artworks up. All I could do again was send them another email insisting that they remove all the artworks that didn't belong to them. Eventually, I kind of stopped checking as it was kind of taking a toll on my mental health. I just felt like I was shouting into an empty void. By shouting, I mean sending countless emails. So yeah, the site is shady. It's questionable. Like, it's making me wonder if people are actually ordering from there. So hopefully nobody's buying art from these people. Like, you can actually go to the actual creators and buy from them. At least they, they were bigger creators and they had shops and stuff. But I didn't have any shop. So there's no way for people to buy the art that I'm showing. But at least those bigger creators they were featuring, <laughs> featuring they were stealing from, um had their own site so so yeah i kind of just stopped visiting that site it was just making me really sad and angry and just not good and i also did a little bit of research on ways i can protect my art i obviously can't pay for any like legal stuff right now for my art but just not uploading a higher quality image and trying to watermark it even though they could easily just erase the watermark but it makes your job a little bit harder so yeah those are the only tips i have if you guys have any more tips on the ways you can protect your artwork online definitely share it in the comments but yeah hopefully now with ai art these people can start generating their own art and selling that or maybe they can just commission artists and pay them for work so yeah thank you all so much for watching i hope you guys like the video and i will see you all in the next one Bye guys, thanks for watching!